automated classification of erythrocytes using deep learning algorithm. A project by Dr. Neenad Mahindale. Erythrocyte is more popularly known as red blood cell, is a biconcave disc-shaped cell. Erythrocyte contains hemoglobin, it transport oxygen and carbon dioxide, to and fro from the different parts of body. Typically, red blood cells are biconcave shaped because they do not contain nucleus. In case of disease their biconcave disc shape is affected. Here we consider only frequently occurring cases and not all shape changes that might occur. Case 1, Microcytes. Microcyte are the RBCs with a reduced diameter and decreased area compared to normal size. They are seen in hereditary, hemolytic anemias. Case 2, Elliptocytes ovalocytes. Here, red cells from the elongated oval. They can be seen in, acquired disorders, such as, iron deficiency anemia. Case 3, Stomatocytes. Stomatocytes are erythrocytes with a slit-like central pallor, giving them the appearance of coffee beans or kissing lips. They are seen in case of stomatocytosis. Case 4, Macrocyte. A macrocyte causes increase in the size of red blood cells. A common cause for macrocyte is macrocytosis. Case 5, Sickle Cell. In sickle cell disease RBC shape changes to sickle shape. It is caused mainly due to sickle cell anemia. Case 6, Dacrocyte or a teardrop cell, where the cell is shaped like a teardrop. These teardrop cells are found primarily in diseases with bone marrow fibrosis. Case 7, Codocytes also known as target cells are red blood cells that have the appearance of a shooting target with a bullseye. Target cells may appear in association with the conditions such as liver disease. Case 8's first site is the present erythrocytes that are sphere-shaped rather than biconcave disc-shaped. Sphrocytes are found in all hemolytic anemias. Case 9 How a jolly cell is an erythrocyte with nucleate remains. How jolly bodies are seen with markedly decreased splenic function. After seeing all nine major types of cells now I will explain how deep learning is used for automated diagnosis. And microscopic image is given as an input to the system. This image is then converted into grayscale image. A detection algorithm is used to extract edges of cells. Area-based filter is used to separate individual erythrocytes. Single RBC image is fed as an input to deep learning network, along with its type. This is done, in order to, develop convolutional neural network, using machine learning. Once, the model is developed, sample input erythrocyte in the data with known outcome, is fed in order to verify the accuracy. Results. Very high accuracy was obtained with elliptocyte, sickle cell, deer drop cell and target cell. On the other hand it was very difficult to work with microcytes, sphrocyte and macrocytes. Hopefully, this project will reduce load on the pathology labs. Thank you for watching this video.